Hi everyone, alright so I've released a brand new product called 50 Tileable Roughness Maps and I just got tired of having to source roughness maps online so I decided to build a library of 50 Tileable Roughness Maps and there's 7 categories as you can see over here we've got scratches, dust, smudges, stains, streaks, fingerprints and then a combined category as well. Right, because no surface in reality is completely clean. There's always going to be some type of surface imperfection that's visible, especially if you're trying to push towards uh, something that's more realistic. And the cool thing is when you're using these roughness maps, you can even control the overall look and feel just by adjusting your gamma value. So if you've maybe created a material that's supposed to look like glass and you want that roughness map to have those surface imperfections to look quite subtle, you can just use the gamma value to adjust how it's going to look. So you can see over here it's really rough. You've got all of that surface imperfection that's very, very visible and over here it's quite subtle. So there is some flexibility and creative freedom in controlling how these roughness maps look. The maps are also completely tileable, so that means you can go ahead and actually scale down the UV transform uh, just to get it to tile and there's going to be no visible seams. So you can use it in any 3D program and with any single 3D object, right? Uh, because these are just regular roughness maps so they can be used anywhere and with the product itself I've included a tutorial showing you how to paint on selective roughness using my maps in Substance Painter and then I've just showed you how to set up a quick basic material as well. Okay so in the next part we're actually going to be opening up this 3D scene and I'll show you how I'm using the roughness maps on the surface just to help push this material a little bit further. Okay so let's move on. Alright, so in this scene over here, I've used my own roughness maps uh, to basically break up the surface here because without these roughness maps, the surface was looking a bit too clean and artificial and these roughness maps have actually helped to tell a little bit of a story here. It's basically showing you that this helmet has been worn, it's maybe been worn in very, a very harsh environment where maybe there were stones and pebbles that were flying and scratching against the surface of the helmet over here and then we've got all of this wear and tear as well that's visible on these metal pieces. So using these roughness maps has definitely helped to push the material that you guys are seeing here a lot further. Alright, so here is that exact same render with the roughness maps turned off. You can see the surface is really clean, uh, but I think this is the perfect example of here. So you can see the before and after. We've got a very clean surface with no roughness and uh, no breakup in the specularity. And over here I've applied my roughness map. You can see I've got all those scratches on there and all the surface imperfection on the metal here as well. Right, so you guys can see the difference. It's night and day. I think if you really want to push more towards something more realistic or do some storytelling just through texturing, I think these roughness maps really come in handy. So I'm going to swap this out with another roughness map over here. You can see I've created a specular material for glass. Uh, so let's see, we've got a combined folder over here. So let's go ahead and select something, maybe some smudges, stains and scratches. Let's go ahead and load that in. All right, let's send that back to our live viewer over here. And again, we can control the overall look and feel of this material just by adjusting this gamma slider. Now you can see this entire surface is very matte. Uh, we don't even see that much of any transparency or glass on here. So if we control this gamma value, we can go ahead and almost it looks like it's blending it into that underlying material and we've got all of that surface imperfection on here, the scratches, the smudges and the stains and uh, just swapping it out with that map and again it's completely tileable so if you want to we can go to the UV transform scale, scale it up a little bit, right, or scale it down and there's going to be no seams uh, which is really going to come in handy. Okay. Alright, so you can see how roughness can help push these materials more towards something realistic. But if you want to be creative, you guys can even use a roughness map as a bump. So I've gone ahead and loaded in an image texture. Let's see, let's go ahead and load in maybe Scratches Insane. So let's load that into our scene. And uh, there we go, that's, that's going to give us some crazy uh, surface texture on here. Maybe invert that. And again, we can go to the UV Transform, scale this down. So now this completely, this even changed, changes the overall look and feel uh, of this material now. But you can see using that in the, in the bump uh, also gives you some different results. So you guys can get creative and maybe try and use some of the roughness maps as a bump map as well. You can see there's a lot of surface texture information on there and it's working in conjunction with our roughness map as well. 
All right, so I've gone ahead and showed you the power of rough, uh, roughness maps. Now you can use it to basically break up the surface of your 3D object, just add a little bit more realism because no surface in reality is completely clean. You always have these imperfections like scratches and dust and smudges. So if you're trying to push more towards realism, this library is going to basically help you do that. And there's seven categories, so there's a nice variety to choose from as well. So you can go ahead and pick up the product right now. The link is in the description with a top comment. And I truly appreciate your, your support, guys. It means the world to me. And as always, stay tuned for some more videos, uh, tutorials, and products. And as always, thank you for watching. And goodbye.